Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for part 3 in this tutorial series about how to create a car. Today we're going to that you can switch gears and also that everything will be in the update so we're just going to finish the whole script and next week we are going to finish the whole scene. So that's the idea so let's just get started. So we're going to start with public void change gear. So I think it's pretty obvious what this will do so this will just change gear um, just as this will control the car, so it already just moved around. This one will break it, so just whenever you want to stop the car. And this will make sure that you can see it on the wheels we created, so the graphics. So, with change gear, we need to know what the current index is. And we already know what the current gear is, so we can just calculate the index, right? Well, for that we need a list. And we have currently an array, so we need to fix that. I'm very sorry that I put that wrong at the first episode. So this is a new list. Kira info in this is to make sure that you won't get any errors. Um, I really not going to explain this today why we need to put that right behind there. So we're going to start with calculating the current index. And that's the Kira's dot index of. So we get an index of the current gear. So now we need to do like, uh, we're going to say that when you're pressing Q, you will go um, one gear down. And when you're pressing E, we're going one gear up. So we're just going to put that, right? That's very simple. Input dot get key down, key code dot Q. And then we can just say um, that the current gear is the same as gears and then current index minus one but there's a problem and the problem is that when we are going to when we're at the first gear so gear with the index of zero we and we're going to go one down we will get an error because there is no such thing as minus one or of from a gear of minus one so we need to fix that and we're going to do that with an end current index isn't zero. So it means that whenever it is one or two or three, it can just go down and otherwise it cannot. And whenever it's beneath zero, so minus one, for example, you would just get another problem. And that's something that, well, it just, you know that your whole script is uh, broken somewhere. So that's something else, um, but that's, we don't care about that. Um, also, we've got a cat key down of key code E, and that's when we go up. And of course, we want to make sure that the current index isn't the same as keyers dot count minus one. So why the minus one? Well, keyers dot count. For example, you got one gear, the count will be one. But the current index will be zero because we start with zero. So it means that we want to go, we want to make that minus one to make sure we um, make sure that there's no difference between the length and the index. Then we're going to switch it. So current gear is gears. And from that, the current index plus one so we're just going to one up and after that we want to actually put it on the screen on the text that you just switch the gears or what the current gear is so that's of course gears a uh, gear plus the gears dot index of current gear so this is exactly the same, this part. So here we just get the index, just like we did right here. So actually, uh, we get index you currently have, and then we put it to string. So it basically means we got it, um, so we can just put it on the screen. But there's one little problem with this. We start with current gear zero, because if you remember it, um, when you start counting in a list, you will start with zero. So what we will do is put here those two and 
and one so it will start with one and we'll just go up so that's how we make sure that this doesn't get weird I'm very sorry for the weird cut, but we are going on with a public void fixed update. And the reason we are not using update for this is because we need to make sure that the fixed update is something for the physics. And we're working with physics here. What it basically is, is that within the editor you can say, for example, every uh, 10 times per second you would just check where our collisions are, if there is an on collision enter, if everything anything hits each other so that's what we're doing here we um, whenever there is such a frame this uh, function gets called and that's of course control here because control car because that is the um, function we uh, are using to move the car around um, so but if you're want to change your okay, gear you want to do that always and not only on those uh, specific frames because if you uh, press the key and it isn't in that certain frame it won't get called so we got a little bit of a problem if you put it in the fixed update so that's why we are going to do it in update so we're going to say that if input dot get key and not get key down so here we got get key down to make sure that only at the moment you press it so at the first touch, um, you can say it like that, the, you are, um, are calling whatever is happening in the if, um, what you want to do it within the if statement. Well, get key is as long as you press that button. And we want to say that to make sure that we don't miss anyone, we want to make sure that we put it like this. So or input dot get key. key code e so whenever this is happening we want to change the key and now we've got everything for the update the fixed and the fixed update so the only thing we want to do is change the start a little bit so we already did this to make sure that we got the right rotation and we're going to do a little bit more we're going to say that the current key is keyers the very first one this is to make sure that whenever you're starting up, you won't be in the last gear and that will cause some weird behavior. Or you can really move around because we put right here that whenever it is uh, below the minimum speed, it won't get really fast. So here we're also going to put like the gear text dot text. It's going to be gear. Um, I'm just going to put this here, gear, and we know for sure which gear it is going to be. It's going to be the first gear, so we can just put here a 1. Uh, to make sure there is one space and here is one space, you need to make sure that that is the same, otherwise we'll get, it will look weird. So now we're going to do a 4 loop, and we're going to loop through the whole Excel infos. And we are going to say that um, we are going to change the vehicle substep. This is something to make sure that whenever you're going too fast, and we're going fast at the end, we're going to um, 120 kilometers an hour, which is, I think, 70 miles an hour. I don't know for sure, but um, at least you go very fast. And then we want to make that the, like the fixed update uh, that's something uh, that's within that wheel um, will be updated more frequently to make sure that it won't glitch through the um, earth or the floor or whatever you are running currently on so we are going to say that the actual info and that's of course the current actual info we are looping through E. So here fr from this we go to the right wheel and the left wheel. We're going to change that. So there's a function for that. So dot right wheel dot this whole function. Um, I'm going to say at first it's um, it's twenty, 
and then below it will be uh, 12 and above it will be 16 um, and this is to make sure that that doesn't happen any weird behavior and of course on the left wheel it's the same so if you get weird glitching behavior um, you can change this um, to make sure that the actual um, and won't get weird behavior anymore there's one problem of course this is physics and physics takes up a lot of memory so whenever you're working on a mobile game maybe you want to make this a little bit lower or whatever also this is in units per second and not in kilometers per hour so that's also something you need to keep in mind um, but that was it for today um, I'm very sorry this is a little bit of a short uh, tutorial but next week we are going to finish it we're going to put everything in the editor and it will be working and we are also going to fix any bugs that will happen um, I don't think so there are any but if there are any or you've got any questions just put it before next week so we can solve them and I really hope you guys liked it if you did a like is much appreciated a subscribe is also much appreciated to show your support and I see you guys next week. Bye.